Abraham. We go back 200 years. Yeah. There was a man and a woman and they had a castle. And in today's money, they'd be worth a hundred million pounds. Yeah. And, that, and, our, and we went back in time travel, me and you. Yeah. And we're meeting them right now. I said, hey man, yeah. I'm Danny, this is Abraham. Yeah. And we have come back 200 years to offer you this deal. If you give us 95% of all your wealth and we give you this car yeah. with unlimited fuel, would you give up more or less everything you've got just for something that we take for granted but we've worked hard for and we are privileged and we are great, grateful for having a car license which I've had for 25 years what do you think that answer would be Abraham? They'll jump on it they never go a few miles out of their village maximum they go from one village to the next some people lived all their life in one village and never gone out so if they had the ability of getting a motor car 200 wow. years ago, they would give up millions and millions and millions just for this simple privilege. Yeah. So the point we're trying to get to is if you've got a car, go out and enjoy the roads. We have so much freedom. And if you haven't, then keep working and you will get a car. Because if you want that, you can have it. But it's much harder for the man from 200 years ago because cars weren't even invented then. But guess what? It is 200 years later. And that means that we can make these dreams come true. Yeah. So that was the moral of the story. Yeah. Abraham, we must shine. On. We shine on. And if you're from 200 years ago, you know that we're shining you on too. Love to all. Shine on. <laughs>